What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. Today, I'm here to talk about The Burning Bed. This is from uh, Kino Lorber Studio Classics. Um, this was a made-for-TV movie uh, from the 80s, and it's about uh, Farrah Fawcett, who stars as a woman who's kind of, uh, as a younger woman, she's kind of naive about love and men, and she ends up kind of getting involved with this guy. Uh, she loses her virginity to him, and, you know, they end up getting married. Um, she really appreciates the fact that he has kind of like a, uh, an almost like an overpowering love for her, like his passion runs really deep. But after they get married, that passion kind of takes a uh, unexpected turn, and uh, well, unexpected to her, expected to everyone else, um, where he becomes jealous and controlling and even abusive. And the movie tracks their relationship while it goes through this like intense trauma of abuse and violence. And uh, you know, she wants desperately to get away, but then also like she loves him and feels like he's gonna kill her, um, you know, if she tries to get away from him. Um, it's a very uh, serious very like harrowing uh, take on domestic violence which for a lot of made for tv movies they would kind of embrace the melodrama and kind of go over the top with it uh, but that's definitely not the case here uh, the movie plays out very seriously and takes the subject matter very seriously and if you know anything about the psychology behind abuse and uh, victimization you'll recognize that the movie does a really accurate authentic job of portraying the way that the abuser operates and how the victim reacts in a lot of cases obviously this isn't true of every victim and every abuser but this is a uh a pretty good look at what I would say like the traditional you know abuser victimizer abuser victim relationship looks like uh, Farrah Fawcett is great in it her performance is really good she kind of goes through the entire gamut of emotions and of experiences because she goes from being a happy-go-lucky young woman who thinks that you know she's found the love of her life so early on in her own life and then you know gets put through pretty much through hell um, you know and is unable to free herself for a long time because she feels this unhealthy you know dedication and inability to leave um, so if you I love lifetime movies I love the melodrama I love the over the top but it doesn't always have a place in in uh, stories and this is definitely a case where taking a taking a more serious uh, compassionate uh, look at the subject matter goes a long way um, this was a landmark made for TV movie um, I definitely think it still holds up especially if you like uh, you know, it was inspired by True Story, but I don't, I mean, I don't know how much of it is actually accurate. I never read the book or, you know, read too much up about the real life story. But if you, even if you are a fan of Lifetime movies, this feels like a Lifetime movie, just a serious, non-melodramatic one. So if you appreciate stories like this, um, I would definitely check it out. The Blu-rays from uh, Kino Lorber Studio Classics, it's got an interview with the director. Um, and it also has the movie in both widescreen and full screen. It looks really good framed uh, cinematically. But obviously, it was originally shown on TV full frame. I don't know which one is the intended um, aspect ratio, but uh, I kind of went back and forth between them just to make sure they look good. And they both look really good. So whichever one you choose, uh, you know, you won't be disappointed with it. That's my review of The Burning Bed. I think it's a very important made-for-TV movie. It deals with a subject matter uh, that is still, even today, very relevant, and a lot of people are, I feel like, misinformed about. So to be able to see it play out in a serious, realistic, authentic way. Um, was really remarkable, and I think the movie still, you know, has a lot of value. Uh, you can read my full write-up at markfusion.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, all that kind of stuff. Even Letterbox now um, at Mark Fusion. Um, if you like this video, please do, you know, drop a sub for me. I would seriously, seriously appreciate it. Um, free, easy, direct way to support me and ensure that I can keep putting this content up. So thank you so much for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.